Kroger Creations, brought to you by Kroger and the Midwest Culinary Institute at Cincinnati State. Hi, I'm Chef Meg Galvin, and I'm here today at the Midwest Culinary Institute, and I'm going to show you something that we teach our students this time of year, how to dry herbs. I'm going to show you a new school way and an old school way. It's fall. We haven't had a big frost yet, but it's coming. Some of our herbs will last through the winter season if we have an okay winter, and that's thyme and rosemary. Now, basil, chives, cilantro, those guys, they really do need to be dried, and they're a little bit trickier because there's more moisture in them. So if you're just learning how to dry herbs, start out with the drier ones from the start, rosemary and thyme, and that's what I'm gonna show you today is with some thyme. So a lot of people get confused with the thyme and the rosemary, and I always like to say the rosemary comes from the bigger tree and the thyme comes from the smaller one. They're great herbs to use in the fall and winter in your stews and soups. So the old school way is just take some kitchen string, bunch it together, tie it up on the end, and it's basically the same way that you might dry some flowers. So just tie it up, and then you're just gonna hang it um, in a pantry area, or sometimes I take mine up to the attic because it's pretty dry up there. And in about two weeks, you're gonna have dried rosemary. So the quick way is use your microwave, but here's a bit of caution. You can overcook the herb, and you don't wanna do that. We're just trying to pull the moisture out. So what I do is just take a little bit at a time, make sure you spread them out, because what's going to happen is some of the moisture is going to come on the plate. You can add a paper towel to the bottom of the plate if you want. So the big thing, and that's why this is why this is a great teaching tool, is there's something called carryover cooking. When this comes out of the microwave, it's still going to be hot, which means it's still cooking. So don't cook it all the way in the microwave. So I'm just going to do bursts of about 10 seconds check them, check the moisture underneath, and then hit it again for about another 10 seconds. Then just let it sit on the countertop, and what you're gonna have are beautiful, nice, dried herbs. For more information on Creations Cooking and all of Chef Meg's recipes, visit Kroger.com. Then stop at your local Kroger for all the ingredients and get cooking.